All right. So this one is pretty clear and straightforward. I like this one a lot better than a couple of the ones we've seen in the past. Um, the solution that I'm going to code is a pretty good one. Um, you'll see why there are a few different other ways to do it, but um, basically what this one does is given our temperatures array, so let's say Let's just call this like 71 and 75, dot, dot, dot. Um, it works with two pointers, and it says, let's say the back pointer is um, zero, so it's pointing to this first number, and the front one, we just increment. So this is front. We just keep incre incrementing until we see a bigger number and then we subtract this number. So when we do, we subtract this number by this number. And we're actually going to change our input array to um, 2 in this case. So 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1, front minus back. Um, yeah, let's jump through and see how that works. So. And we're just going to call the input array T. Let's say let front, let back, zero. And we're going to say wow, our back. And this one requires coding it a little bit of like backwards, of like how you'd think about it. Um, so you're gonna, we're gonna say if so, but we're good for now. We're gonna keep incrementing this back one, uh, the back pointer until we get all the way through, and the front one, if we end up getting to this last index then we're not going to hit this or uh, we're going to hit this if statement so let's say if we did get all the way to so yeah if we did get all the way back then we're just going to set that part equal to zero because there's no Temperature further on the array, which is greater. And we're going to increment back. And we're going to set our front back equal to our back. Hopefully that makes a little sense. Let me walk through it one time and see um, how this works. Otherwise, we're going to come in our front and we're gonna say if so this is the main comparison if that temperature in the front is greater than that temperature in the back So what this is saying is um, basically if our front ended up being greater than our back variable, and remember we're only going to get to this conditional if this passes, I think we could actually just say this as well. So anytime we see 
Yeah, we'll try that as we go through, but I just thought of that now, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, and then after all that, we're going to return T. So let's jump through and see how this works. So let's give front actually let's say and let's just do it with actually grab. to show you that it works. So we're doing tabs two, which would be this one. And we get back the same thing with tabs one, this one, or yeah, uh, this one. We get back that. So Let's run through this just over here. And so let's say this is our first iteration. Front equals zero, back equals zero. Well, our back is less than here. If our front is less than here. Oh sorry, if our front is all the way here. So we jump we skip this one. And we're gonna increment our front. So now front is one. We're gonna say if our front is greater than our back. So if this part of this first index in the array corresponding to 74 is greater than this, then our back, so then our temperature array, this part equals one. So it equals our front minus our back. One minus zero is one. And then back, and increment that once. And if our front is less than our back, then our front equals back. Our front and back are the same right now, so. Sorry, if our front minus back is greater than zero. So if it was any further down the list, we would set front back to back. Yeah, I think, so we can just do this every time. So so current state of things, back equals one, front equals one. And we go back up to the top of the while loop. Back is less than two at length, yes. If our front is all the way at the end, no. Otherwise, we increment front one time. So now we're comparing these two. If our front at index two is greater than our back at index one, we do the same thing. We say front minus back, which is one again. Um, that's what this is gonna be. I increment our back once. 
and set those equal to each other. And now, let's do it through it again. Let's go through it one more time just because I want to see, what, show you what happens when we have to skip a few. So, while our back plus then the end, if our front is equal to the back, not quite. Front plus plus. So now these two we're comparing. So we have one, two, three, two. Um, if this is greater, it's not. So we go back up here. If it's all the way at the end, it's not. So we go down here again. That's equal to four. So now we're comparing this one to this one. Um, same thing, we're going to go all the way back through. Because it's not. Five. Still not greater. Six. We get here. And we're not quite here, so we go down here. Uh, so that's what we just did. We increment it once. If it's greater than our back, it is. Subtract our front from our back. So 6 minus 2 equals 4. And we're going to make this 4. As you can see, this one to, the, to this one would be 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, just to show you the one part we haven't gone through yet, if we get to the very end right here, we would just set this, uh, so we would set whatever back part we're looking at to zero because we there are no numbers later on the list that are greater. And then we would do the same thing, increment the back once and set our front equal to our back. Um, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful, and yeah, I really like this solution. It's uh, O of N runtime, so it's pretty quick, and because uh, we only had to loop through the array once, um, it's also space efficient, but it does modify original original array. So if you wanted to. Uh, if you're worried about that, you could do something like this. So you could create an array with that many numbers and set them all to zero. And then instead of setting T each time you would set result. Um, yeah, in case you didn't want to modify this and you just wanted to create a new array for your answer. Uh, but yeah, there are a few other solutions. Um, another one using a stack that is also of n, but I like this one a little better. Um, it's a little easier to understand, I think, despite this one being a little more complicated, but still, I think it's a good solution, and yeah, hope you liked it as well.